Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Payab. Hello! All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to talk about an issue that's actually been bugging me for a very long time. Namely, the sum of cubes. And the thing is, if you don't know the formula, the formula for the sum of cubes is simply n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4, which you usually prove it by induction. But the thing that's been bugging me for years is notice this is actually the same thing as n times n plus 1 over 2 squared, which is precisely the sum of the integers from 1 to n squared. And I'm always wondering, you know, is this a coincidence or does this make sense? And in fact, recently I found out it actually makes sense. And I want to talk to you about it. So that's really, really cool. You'll see why. Here's why this is true. Suppose you start with four squares of size one. Something like that, square, 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 square. So four square of size one, or side one, sorry. And then you surround this with eight squares of side two. So in other words, complete, literally complete the square da, 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 to get a bigger square. And you see total, we have nine minus one, which is eight. So eight squares of side 2. And then continue, do 12 squares of side 3, which I believe looks something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Look how pretty it is. It's a math flower if you want. And in general, what you have is 4n squares of side n. And calculating the sum of cubes and showing this identity actually just amounts to calculating the total area of this figure um, in two different ways. Because on the one hand, what is the total area? All you do, you first sum up the squares of side 1, and there are 4 of them. So 4 times 1 squared. And then you sum up the area of the red squares, which is, remember, 8 squares of side 2, so 8 times 2 squared, and then, uh, what is it, 12 times 3 squared, etc., etc., until you get 4n squares of side n, whose area is n squared. And it doesn't look like it's the sum of cubes, but let's manipulate this a little bit, because notice, this is 4 times 1 times 1 squared, Okay, why am I wasting my time with that? Then 8, notice, it's 4 times 2, times 2 squared, plus dot, 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 plus 4 times n, times n squared. And this is precisely 4 times 1 cubed, plus 4 times 2 cubed, etc., etc., plus 4 times n cubed. And game cubed, <laughs> That's something else. So 4 times 2 cubed, blah, 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 plus 4 times n cubed, which is precisely 4 times 1 cubed, plus 2 cubed, plus da, 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 plus n cubed. And that is precisely 4 times the sum of our cubes. So that is one way of calculating the total area. Just um, sum up the areas of this square. On the other hand, and this is the cool thing, this geometric figure is itself a square. So you just have to calculate the total side length 
and square it. And notice what makes this nice, there's this projection thing going on, because if you project it on the axis, you get the small square, then the medium square, and then the big square. And we double count it, so we have this then, and then this. Sorry, where's the red one? Black pen, red pen today, so, and green pen. So you see, what is the side of the big square? It's precisely one plus two plus three. And plus one plus two plus three. So it's really double that. So, or you can say the side is again remember, 1 plus 2 plus 3, and we double that. So, 2 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. So, what is the total area? Is the side squared? So, total area is side squared, and that then just becomes 4 times 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus n squared, which is 4 times the sum of the integers squared. And therefore, because both quantities calculate the same area, what we get is that 4 times this quantity equals 4 times this quantity. In other words, exactly what we want, 4 times the sum of cubes, i cube, equals 4 times the sum of the integers squared. You cancel out the 4, and then you get precisely that the sum of the cubes equals to the sum of the integer squared, and that's precisely n times n plus 1 over 2 squared, which gives us our result n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4. Just for sake of completeness, if you want to know why this is true, well, let s be the sum of all the integers up to n. Then you can rewrite s, just reverse everything, it's n times n plus 1, blah, 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 plus 1. Then sum those two up. So 2s, each sum gives you n plus 1, plus n plus 1, plus dot, 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 plus n plus 1. How many times? Well, n times n times n plus 1. So our sum is just n times n plus 1 over 2. How amazing is that? Seriously. And you know, I always thought you would have to go with cubes, right? Like 3D squares, but it turns out here using just this slick uh, argument with projections, you can actually calculate the sum of cubes just in the 2D space. All right, I hope you liked that. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.